So in, in other words, what we are saying that these one, two, three, four, five, the position, they are representing the ranks. Let me give you, let me digress a little bit and I will come to that. Do you understand the concept of cardinal number cardinal. and hmm. ordinal number? Yes, sir. Let me make it a little more general, although that's not useful for particular utility chapter, but let me add another kind of a number, nominal number. See, number can represent different things depending on the, the way we are using it. So one way, let's say when you see number 10 on Sachin Tendulkar jersey, I think it is number 10. Does it mean that he has 10th position, that he bats, he comes for batting at 10th position? No. 10 is just a name representing a number representing Sachin Tendulkar in the match. In football, any football player, he wears a jersey and it has a number. That number 7, you go out because of some penalty. What it means? The person who is wearing number 7 jersey should go out of the game. Okay. So number here is representing name. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just a name. So number is, number. in that sense, nominal. Number. We call such numbers nominal numbers. The second kind is ordinal. Let's say that three people took exam. The first, a person got 100. The maximum was, marks was 100. The second one got 70. And third one got 65. So what we can say or we say always that this is this person came first this person came second and this person came third hmm. let's say instead of 65 that he had received 60 what would be his rank third third, third. it would not change and let's say first person if he had received 71 what would be his rank first first, first. so we cannot, what it means is that second minus one is meaningless. It mm. doesn't contain this information. That what is that, how much is the difference? What information it contains? That it contains the relative rank. That second is lower than first, but above third. That's what it says. And cardinal, we can say height or we can say weight. Weight of a person is 60 kg. Another person has 75 kg. Here the difference makes sense. Hmm. That second person is 15 kg. More he is having 15 kg more, more weight. weight. Or here even when we talk in terms of marks. <coughs> 71, 70 and 60. When we say that these are the marks. 71 is one mark more than 70. So here we are talking, talking about number in cardinal sense. This, this also gives the rank. 75 is more than 60. 70 is more than 60. Like that. It, again, it gives the rank, but it gives more than rank. It also gives the intensity. How much more? How, how big is the difference? Things like that. So in that sense, I am talking about. Remember, now let's come back to utilities because we are not worried about these numbers you know just for the sake of these numbers we, what we are talking about is utility so come back to the utility function remember when we started talking about demand and we started talking about diminishing marginal value, value. okay so there although i didn't mention but again in the sense earlier sense when people were using this utility they thought that utility is cardinal it can be measured precisely it cannot, it, it's not, it's not just you can measure it, you can also compare it among, between two different person. But when we say the utility is ordinal, and when we say that you, the Mr. X likes coffee more than tea, it doesn't contain this information how that much? how much, how much more, okay? And that's why it cannot, I cannot take your, the valuation of your utility and compare the valuation with his utility. Because although we are using the number, but it would be wrong on our part 
to use these numbers on the in the cardinal, cardinal sense. Yeah. At best, we can use it in ordinal, ordinal sense. sense. But earlier, the earlier economists they were using these utility numbers, utils in cardinal, cardinal sense. sense. But here in this chapter, we are using it in ordinal sense. Fine? Is it clear? Yes. 